Hi Leo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from January 2nd to the 8th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Leo, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Leo, your challenge for this week, okay, is the page of cups. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the fool in reverse, okay? So Leo, your challenge has a lot to do with the page of cups energy. I feel with the page of cups here, it could be taught, this could be talking about someone making an offer to you. It could be, um, I feel like this is a person. I don't feel like this is you. I feel like this could be someone that's making an offer. I do get <clears throat> whoever's making this offer to you or whatever's happening. It's almost like a small offer. Okay. It's not a sufficient one. We're going to talk more about this challenge and we're going to see why it's there for you in a moment. Now in the recent past, Leo, you have the justice, you have the page of pentacles and you have the ace of pentacles. So I feel in the past for you, there was a big opportunity that presented itself to you. And this could have came through another person. Okay. This could have been something that you started. Some of you started maybe a business or you could have started some sort of apprentice here, but either way it grew into something great. And this is again, part of your justice. This could be something that, um, was part of, you know, setting something right, something that was karmic here. We're going to clarify this and get more information for you in a moment. Now in the present moment, you have the five of pentacles, the nine of swords, and you have the knight of cups. So in the present moment, Leo, I feel there's a really strong energy here of you letting go of anxiety and fear. Okay. There could be something that you're really, um, that you're really no longer interested in worrying about. It's like, I no longer want to be in stress. I no longer want to be in anxiety. I no longer want to be in fear. Okay. Some of you are dealing with the fact that someone left you. Okay. Or maybe you left someone here and the Knight of Cups is talking about someone who's been emotionally on and off. Okay. Lately, the Knight of Cups talks about inconsistent emotions. Okay. Um, so it looks like you're not worrying yourself about this anymore. Now in the near future, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups with the Three of Cups. There's two possibilities for the near future. I see you having some sort of new beginning. It could lead to a lot of happiness, maybe celebration, some sort of new endeavor that you're going to be doing. Whatever this new situation is that you're planning on doing in the near future, it's going to lead to tons of happiness for you. Okay. Um, if this isn't about a new project or a new beginning, this could have a lot to do with you reconciling with someone here that you may decide to ultimately have a new beginning with. Okay. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the fool in reverse. So I feel with the fool in reverse, there's a reason why a new beginning either isn't happening right now or why you shouldn't embark on a new beginning at this time. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't in general, but there's a reason. And it could be very well connected to the fact that Mercury is still retrograding until um, January 18th. Okay. So let's get into your reading. Let's do some clarification. Okay, let's clarify your challenge. You have the Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Empress. Some of you are dealing with someone who's just not, um, <clears throat> I feel like they're not consistent here. There's a lack of consistency. And someone here could have been making an offer to you or vice versa, where again, the standard, the standard just wasn't there. Page of Cups is like a younger energy. It's someone who wants to be, you know, a man who wants to be established, but isn't quite there yet. 
And I feel like your biggest challenge has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, you may be in this position, Leo, where you're like, I want to manifest this. I want this. I want that. And the reason why it's not happening is because a lot of you may be in a place of still needing to heal, needing to reflect. Okay. Some of you still want your freedom. There's something here about freedom, you know, wanting to do your own thing and getting back to this place of the Empress. So I think your biggest challenge from uh, now until the 8th of January is to really get back into this place of balance, which means healing, resting. Um, and that's what's going to allow you, Leo, to get into this place of creation, because I think that's what you're trying to get to. You're trying to create something here. It, again, it could be some of you want to be treated like the Empress, and maybe you're not being treated like the Empress, because the Knight of Wands and the Page of Cups really don't know how to treat the Empress. Okay, so there's something here, Leo, about you loving yourself, healing, and really going within and getting back to this place of balance, and that's going to be a big part of your challenge, okay? So let's talk about the recent past. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the recent past. You have the Ten of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Something here was really bothering you in the past, like it was really bothering you, you felt stuck. Uh, and that's why this new opportunity came in for you. And I do feel this was something that you started. So something got really difficult in your life in the past. You were in this maybe isolation mode. Things maybe were not really going the way that you wanted to. Some of you felt stuck in the past, but slowly you started to get yourself out of this. And it led to some sort of new beginning, which again, ultimately brought your life back into balance here. Now, in the present moment, I do strongly feel you are letting something go or you have let something go because it causes so much stress and anxiety for you and there's a lot of ups and downs in regards to the situation tell me about the present moment for leo you have the lovers the queen of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so it's interesting because um now that you've let the situation go or now that you're not it's almost like you're not in this place leo in the present moment of needing to control the situation it's like there's a very strong energy here of acceptance. It's like, okay, well, if I need to, if someone needs to leave me, hey, that's what needs to happen. If somebody, you know, is on and off with me, then that's what needs to happen. There's a lot of anxiety and fear in the present moment, but then there's also this energy of acceptance, okay? And it looks like in the present moment, there's an opportunity for you and this person to really work together, okay? Because there's a strong energy here of love, and I do see an offer coming in, but this is all happening, Leo, because you're no longer trying to control the situation. I think once you start to get to this place where you're not always needing to control and you just allow things to flow, that's going to really help you to understand and understand and overstand where your energy belongs. Okay. Cause there's a reason why part of your challenge has a lot to do with healing. Okay. Healing means not taking action. It means just resting and taking time out for yourself. So in the present moment, some of you are going to be working things out with someone that you maybe have um, had difficulties with someone that you uh, have disconnected from possibly. So there's a potential for that. And I see a lot of love here, but it's only happening because now you're accepting something here that may have been outside of your control. Okay. Now in the near future, there is a possibility of a reconciliation coming back together with someone that you may have disconnected from. I do see a brand new beginning. So whatever you're embarking on, whatever you're planning, you know, in the future, especially if it's in regards to a new beginning, it's really going to lead to a lot of happiness for you. Tell me about the near future for Leo. So you have the six of swords, the seven of swords and the seven of wands. So <clears throat> in the near future, I feel you're going to be moving away from something. Okay. And I feel what you're moving away from is something that has, or is full of deception. Some there's something here where either you feel taken advantage of, or you feel there's deception, or you feel there's lies, or you feel there's some sort of uncertainty. I see you moving away from that and you're going to be setting major, major boundaries because a lot of you want to get to this place of happiness again. This is where you want to be. 
I see you celebrating the fact that you're leaving something or disconnecting from something in order to have a new beginning. Okay. So even though you may feel a new beginning is happening, there may be a delay because a lot of you are not seeing something for what it is. And there's a need for you to see something for what it is. And I, I feel after, you know, as we go through Mercury retrograde, you're going to start seeing the deception in the near future. You're going to start seeing who's honest with you, who's not honest with you, who's real, who's not real. And, and also there's a full moon as well that's coming in on the 6th. And look at this. In the near future, you have the Six of Swords with the full moon. So I feel around the full moon, you're going to see something for what it is. And you're going to say, mm, okay, this is what I need to disconnect from. And it's going to make more sense. And that's when you may be reevaluating if you really truly want to have some sort of new beginning. Okay. So there's there's some sort of reevaluation about your life, a new beginning, where you want to go, how you want to do things. Okay. So let's get some advice. You have the temperance, the king of swords, and the chariot. Your biggest piece of advice is to have patience during this time. Because even though you want to move forward, and you may be in this place of, yeah, I want to move forward, I want to do this, you need to be logical. You need to be very serious about whatever it is that you're moving towards. And also look at the good and the bad, okay? That's what the chariot's about. If you look at the chariot, you'll see that there's um, a black pillar and there's a white pillar, okay? Which represents duality. Um, so part of you moving forward means, hey, look at both sides. Don't just look at, you know, one side and say, yeah, that's the reason why I want to do it. That's the reason why I want to move forward with it. Well, look at both sides, okay? And don't rush. Take your time, at, you know, with the temperance here because Mars is still retrograde, which again is going to affect your sign because you're a fire sign and you have the King of Swords here, which King of Swords is very stern, King of Swords doesn't waver. King of Swords is very logical and very forthright in his or her thinking. So again, you know, whatever it is that you want to embark on, whether it's a new situation or it's just you wanting to move forward, look at both sides of the situation. Don't rush into something haphazardly, especially during Mercury retrograde and during Mars, because there may be some sort of uh, delay or there may be something that doesn't really move forward the way that you want it to because you're not seeing the full picture okay so look at both sides be dual and uh, make sure that you are in a place of you know being very logical especially about you know moving forward okay so leo this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and i will see you on the next one bye